Hey, it's Tara again. I am testing out some more pens. This is, a, this is the other pack of pens that I picked up when I was at Walmart. Um, they were just in the back to school section and the colors really appealed to me. The Jolosity pens are pens that I used actually at my old job. Um, I was in charge of ordering office supplies and one time they sent me when I ordered from Staples, they sent me like a test pen for the Gelosity type. It was just like a blue pen. It was like the best pen I wrote with when I was at work at least. And it was like the only pen that would write on post-its, which I don't know what it is, but pens don't like post-its. And I, it's the worst thing in the world, especially when you're at work and you write on post-its a lot. Um, there's a lot of like skipping action that happens and it's very frustrating, but this Gelosity pen was like, it was like so nice. It just was so smooth to write with and it never skipped on the, the post-it. So I ordered on the next supply order, I ordered some black ones because I like writing in black more than blue and I really like the pens. So I thought I would give them a try, but the black ones were nothing like the blue ones and they always skipped when I was writing on the post-it. So I don't know. I don't know what these pens are going to be like. I mean, I don't really write on post-its in my personal life, but I really like these colors. I like, um, I don't know, there's like the teal and then the lime green kind of, and a weird yellowy orange. And then this like magenta color is really pretty too. It's very different. They're different than what you normally see. Even like the blue isn't like a standard, like dark blue. It's like a light blue. Um, but these, yeah, they're, they're gel pens. They're, they, say, they say they're quick drying, which never seems to be the case with any pen, any gel pen at least. And they're retractable, which I love. Super smooth writing experience. I mean, I know that was the case for one of them, but not all of them. <laughs> Comfortable full grip barrel, fast drying ink. It doesn't say what the, the point is, but it's probably like 0.7 medium. We'll see. All right, so I'm really excited to see what these colors turn out like when you actually write with them. Because uh, the color of the pen itself can be maybe a little bit misleading. I don't know. I don't really know. I want to do it like this. I love the way these feel though. They're really like soft. Um, and there's like some texture, like some texture grip going on here, but they're very nice. Clicky. Gotta take off this stupid plastic stuff. You guys need to let me know what the purpose of that is. Besides just being really annoying. So, oh, yes. These are nice. Pink. I just wish they would have cool names, or like the names on them. Oh, yeah, it is 0.7. When I was growing up, I was always really fascinated with like crayons. Um, and I really loved like the names they would come up with for crayons. And that, I really wish that was my job when I was a kid, that I could just come up with names. I'm not creative or imaginative, imaginative in that way at all. But when I was a kid, I thought I could do it. But it seems like just such a waste to have all these like really pretty colors and not have cool names for them. Ooh, I'm just gonna call this magenta wine. I don't even know, I don't even, I don't think I can even tell you what magenta actually looks like, but I feel like this is what it is. A plum, a wine color. This is really pretty. I guess it kind of matches the pen itself, but it's a little bit darker, I think. I really like that though. Purple, Pur I almost forgot to take this off. Purple, this is kind of an ugly purple. It's too blue, I think. Purple, purple is my favorite. That's really, really dark. It looks nothing like the pen color itself. But that is not my favorite. I'm excited to see what this one looks like. I always feel like I'm gonna just break the pens when I'm pulling that plastic off. Yeast teal. I don't even know the names of colors. Like, how could I even think that I could be like a cool naming color person? That's stupid. Isn't it the worst when you like get just half of that little plastic off the tip? I think so. Blue. Blue. 
This one's not really nice to write with. It's alright. Green. I hope this one isn't super bright. Because I love green pens, but I feel like they're always too bright and I never want to write letters with them because it's kind of like an assault on your eyes. Hard to read unless you put it like really close to your face. Could just be me. I don't know. This is, this is kind of, mm, it's kind of a nice middle ground, but I, th I still think I wouldn't write a letter with this because off the bat, it's still just too bright. Too bright for my face. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. And this color, again, I'm hoping it's not too bright. We'll see. Can you call this yellow? 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 It's not really yellow, it's like a orange yellow. Orange yellow. I like it though. It's actually not too bright. It's kind of bright. I probably wouldn't write a letter with it. But maybe I would. Maybe to like a person I don't really like that much, I would write a letter in that pen color. And then this is orange. Didn't know how I wanted to write my R right there. The orange and the yellow. It's pretty. I really like that this pack doesn't have like a red. It has the magenta color. These are really nice pens though, honestly. I don't know if they're super com comfortable to write with. I don't know how you guys hold your pens. I feel like I hold my pen super, like, oh, I'm really angry when I'm holding it. I mean, I'm not really, but I hold on to it really, really tight. And it's probably not really comfortable to, to use like that. But I feel like mine's like an awkward way to hold a pen. Like, what about you guys? Is that weird? Like, you can see the pressure on my middle finger. Like, why am I doing that? Sometimes I try to hold my pen like this, but I feel like I just don't have any control. Control, control over my handwriting when I do it like that. And I feel like I have a lot more control of the pen when I hold it like this. But how do you guys hold your pens? I, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what the best way to hold a pen is. I usually write, like, totally vertical, I guess. Not totally, but... I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm really interested in how, in how other people hold pens and how they write. I don't know. I'm gonna see how these pens are when you use a highlighter with them. So, I'll take, I'm gonna take a darker color. Hello. I'm gonna not let it really set for a minute. I'm gonna take one of my highlighters. Ooh, that was smeary. We'll take a lighter color. Doesn't really matter. I don't know. I feel like that was super smeary. It kinda looks cool, the way it blended with the highlighter. I'll let it set for a second. I really like highlighting over stuff that I write down in my journals and stuff, so it's it's kind of important important to me. I guess you do that. Do you think that was long enough? Yeah, not too bad. What about when you swoop it over with your finger? Hello. No, it's kind of smudgy. I don't know if they're clicked or not. Yeah. Mm. Not the greatest, that's for sure. But another thing I was saying actually about these pens is the way the 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 top of this kind of comes up over the plastic part. It's kind of uncomfortable if you hold it too too low, it kind of digs into your skin. That's another thing is like I always hold my pens really close to the top. The bottom? The top? The bottom? Nib? So I'm usually holding it like down here but I can't really do that with this pen because that is very uncomfortable. Anyway, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, these are really smudgy with the highlighter. I'll show you a little bit. Zoom it in a little bit. So 
So this is just like immediately after putting it down. And then this is this one was fine after you let it set for a second, but the the tealish color, not very good. But it has the potential to smear right away, even when you just like go over it with your finger after you write it write something down. But I mean, for a gel pen, I think that's really just kind of a common thing. Can't really get get away from that. I don't think I've ever met a pen that wasn't like that. But for the most part, I mean, I really like these pens. I really like the colors more than anything. I think they're really unique and they look really nice all together. Like it's just a really, a really pretty set. And that's where I bought it. And I'm sure I'll write some letters with them. Cause that's what I do. So, so let me know how you guys hold your pens, how you write, maybe what your favorite color is too. I like, I like doing those things. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.